Hi Aries, and welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for July 2020. I'm going to start by, oh, well there we go. I'm going to start by pulling a card to see which Spirit Guide is coming in the strongest to represent your team. We have an ancestor coming through. So this, uh, for some of you, is a passed on loved one. And for others of you, this is an ancestor of your bloodline that you may have never, ever met in this life journey, okay? But this is family that's coming in to assist you in the month of July. And we have illusion there. So this loved one wants to help break you free from any sort of deception that uh, others are projecting upon you or that you may be projecting upon yourself like having a, a false belief about something and that belief is like holding you back okay and with illusion Neptune just went retrograde on June 22nd so that's the great disillusionment when Neptune goes retrograde and you have illusion here. So you have a loved one coming in really wanting to show you the truth about something, Aries. So let's see what that's about. Ooh, Mother of the Sea, you got some goddess energy coming through. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. So your loved one really wanting to bring you into understanding and clarity because something is holding you back. Some sort of falsity that somebody has said to you or projected upon you or some sort of false belief that you've been maintaining and you don't realize it's false. Like there's something that's holding you back and this loved one wants to make sure that you see that so that you can flow, all right? So that you don't feel stuck, so that you, because it's like, um, it's preventing this belief, this deception is preventing some movement in your life, okay? And uh, now we have the mirror reflect. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. So uh, those of you that this could be a false belief about yourself, this is like where you don't recognize your full worth and value. You sell yourself short from what you truly, truly deserve, Aries. And this loved one in July wants to make that apparent to you, wants to show you where you're reaching beneath yourself, where you absolutely deserve more. And there, is, some of you, this is a belief in your head about your own worthiness or what could happen for you or, or like some falsity, like you're not good enough, um, you're not, you know, pretty enough, you're not handsome enough, you don't have enough of this, you don't have enough of that, like any sort of thought like that, that this loved one is absolutely addressing and saying, no, that's false, that's holding you back, you know, whoever said those things to you is the lies, and you telling yourself those same things is lying to yourself, and you deserve more you've been reaching beneath yourself in some area of your life and through that um, this could be you know where people are being deceptive um, and you just you don't see the imbalance you see everything is equal and you know um, you want to love you want to flow you want to vibe but there's a distortion and imbalance and it's through some sort of deception or falsity and it's either connected to you in a situation you in a relationship or some sort of um, untruth you've been telling yourself about yourself, which is like not being good enough, not being worthy of something. And so this loved one wants to snap you out of all of that and say, oh no, you are meant to shine, Aries. You are meant to shine. Let nobody hold you back or hold you down. Let's pull some tarot. seven of wands yeah you believe less of yourself like um, what you're capable of what you're worthy of is something along those lines you believe less than what is true of you and your loved one here is like you are so much better than you know the gossip 
hear or what other people have to say, their opinions, their thoughts, their emotions. Um, it's like it's, they've been trying to hold you down. Somebody tried to hold you down, not let you see the way you shine, who you are, what you are. And your loved one is not having it. They're like, mm-mm, Aries, let me tell you the truth. Knight of Wands, there you are, yes. Um, it, there's going to be some movement. You're going to come into a decision. You're going to make an action um, as you come into this deeper truth and understanding. Uh, we have King of Cups here, so some of you, this could involve a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Pentacles coming in now. Got some Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then the Five of Wands. Okay. Yes. So the loved one wants to help bring some emotional healing and understanding for you because there is some sort of deception and falsity and it's holding you down, it's holding you back and you're meant for more than that. You deserve more than that and the truth is coming in where there's illusion and deception and dishonesty, you're going to finally see it, okay? Because you feel the distortion of the energies. You feel an imbalance, okay? You go back and forth within about it. There's an internal conflict going on here within you. And so your loved one wants you to know to trust your vibes. What you're feeling is right. It's accurate. And no matter who it is, don't let anybody hold you back with their opinion their thought, the way they would go about doing something, Aries, because nobody has to live your life but you. And you can't live your life under others' expectations of who you should be and what you should be because that's not being authentic to you. And remember, every single person is a work in progress. Nobody knows it all. Nobody has it all together. In moments, yes. In moments, some of us do have it together. We're holding it down, you know, but in other moments, not holding it down, not having it together. Nobody is perfect. So do not try to live up to somebody else's false expectation of who and what you should be. Because Aries, who and what you should be is exactly who you are, what's in your heart, what's in your soul. And let nobody hold you back. And, you know, if somebody um, saying false things to you about yourself, let that go in one ear and write out the other. Somebody coming in trying to gossip and stir up trouble between you and others. You're just going to, you, you feel it vibrationally. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts, Aries. The truth is coming. And the loved one uh, guiding you in July really wants you to break free um, from this lower vibrational energy, these deceptive projections or um you know, lower vibrational thoughts you've been having about yourself. So let's, uh, let's pull some more tarot. Ten, or sorry, seven of swords. Look at that. Seven of swords coming out to clarify the seven of wands. Yes, there's been uh, some betrayal. There's uh, things said to you that are just not true. Aries, don't buy into it. No matter who it is, don't buy into it. Now we have the Knight of Cups under this Knight of Wands. Some of you, this absolutely involves a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because you got the King of Cups and you got the Knight of Cups. But I'm seeing you as this Knight of Wands. So here you are, and here's this other person coming in. Now we have the Chariot, the Hierophant, and the Six of Wands. Nice. So, ending with the Five of Wands and the Six of Wands, your intuitive promptings are going to be confirmed. They're going to be uh, clarified. They're going to be justified because whatever this is, you feel it within, but... Um, you know, just the way things look externally, you may be saying, no, it couldn't be that way. But where you have been in confusion, you've been going back and forth within, right here through the Five of Wands, that's shifting in the Six of Wands energy, where you are now sure of yourself. You see things for truly what they are, and you realize that you are meant to shine and that you are unique and the way that you are and how you vibe and all the you know things about you 
it's all right. It's all good. I, somebody has told you that you're just not a good person, that you're not worthy, that you're not, um, oh, like they they just have this superiority or complex about themselves and you know they think they're better and they push other people down and try to like mentally manipulate and emotionally control them so that they can feel in a position of power so that they can feel good about themselves aries those of you where that's like ding 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 do not buy into that they have a problem and the truth is, anybody who truly acts that way and, and tries to be so dominating and manipulating and controlling, it's because they're insecure. It's because they have to have everything in perfect order under their control or they don't know what to do. They're, they're totally out of whack. Okay, so don't listen to the falsity that has been laid upon you in some area of your life. You feel the conflict within and now through the month of July with this loved one, I'm going to bring you into the full truth and understanding and validate and confirm your intuitive promptings that you've been having. Here's the falsity. Here's the dishonesty with the uh, seven of wands with the seven of swords. The seven of swords is that deception, is um, lower vibrational thinking and feeling and I say it's because of what's been said to you or done to you here or just uh, what you've heard through the grapevine and it hurts you it made you sad it, it stopped you in your tracks it made you really question yourself um, number seven is the number of growth of, of coming into deep understanding from what you've been through you got two sevens here Aries that's what starts um, your reading for July July is the seventh month so that's very uh, synchronistic and significant for me where there's been betrayal and lies and falsity and deceit and deception it's all about to be exposed in different ways for each of you but at the end of the day, you already knew all of this, and now it's just being confirmed, and you're realizing that, you know, you, you're all right, okay? You're okay. There's nothing that you've done wrong here, and the lower thoughts that you were having, they're not yours. Somebody has been manipulating your emotional body, all right? Here's Aries being beautiful, uh, being spontaneous, just being your fiery self, and somebody manipulating that emotional body for their own gain. And again, you've had a sense of this, and your loved ones coming through, now saying, I'm going to show you the truth, which is going to allow you to make a different decision, and it's going to lead to your victory, and you're no longer going to have this internal conflict of should I or shouldn't I, did they or didn't they? You know, you're going to just come into balance and full understanding. This loved one is tired of this, like doesn't want to see you going through this anymore. Like you're better, Aries, you deserve so much better than this. And, you know, I feel you've been beat down emotionally, so you're not quite in that conscious perception of what you deserve you're you don't have um, a full footing your energies aren't fully grounded because of what you've been through and now your loved one is like no more of this okay here it is your loved one coming through with the herald fence and then through this page of pentacles i am going to show you the truth i'm going to bring you to the light and that's going to make everything better for you Okay, everything better for you. And then you, you move out of July, no longer in a place of internal conflict or confusion, no more uncertainty, um, no more feeling small or reaching beneath yourself because of somebody else's false projections and things they've tried to drill into your head to make you believe about yourself. Your loved one is, you know, wanting to show you the true you the way that spirit sees you, the way that the angels see you, the way that strangers see your energy, not this nonsense that somebody has tried to drill into your head and make you believe, you know, and, and get you all out of balance because they're out of control 
and they have to manipulate and, and you know you could think to yourself um, you could be in this conflict because you wouldn't you know do what this person does you wouldn't make stuff up like that you would never treat somebody like that so the things that you would never do it's really hard for you to come into a belief that somebody else would do that to you because you wouldn't do that and this is what the your loved one also wants you to understand is always love always be open but never let your discernment down when you feel something's off in the vibes even though you can't put your finger on it pay attention to that and follow through with that and you will come to the truth because you don't feel off unless something is off you you just you don't okay just like um, your car all of a sudden starts making a, a weird sound um, I know uh, some of us like to just turn the radio up louder right to ignore it nope nothing's wrong don't hear it don't hear it but it's making a sound for purpose Okay, and initially the reason might not be obvious, but something's going on and that's how you know is because of that sound. When it comes to people and situations, pay attention to the energy. Energy doesn't lie. People lie. People manipulate. Somebody has been trying to manipulate you. Very strong water sign coming through, but also that could just be that they're really working the emotional body. And uh, you're aware of this. You know who this person is. And your loved one coming in, wanting to confirm and rise you up out of this, saying you deserve so much better than this, Aries. You do. All right. Wow, okay, I guess those are it. I was going to cut the deck, but um, let's see. Celebration, sacred ceremony coming in. It's time to celebrate you, Aries, regardless of what anybody else has to say. It's not their life. Yeah, transforming you out of, uh, you know, the darkness here, the uncertainty, the manipulation from the snake into the light, into the truth, into <clears throat> the deeper understanding of what's going on here. Divine Feminine. So I do know that you've been a bit traumatized by all of this. This is your sacral chakra, your Divine Feminine energy, whether you're male or female. Okay, this is your empathy. This is your compassion, your creativity, your nurturing. And there's um, imbalance here because of what's been done to you. And so this loved one also trying to bring you back into a place of balance through transformation and look at this you've got angels and spirit guides uh coming in and that's the the focus of this reading right which your spirit guides want to talk to you about and you have this loved one coming in saying i'm the main voice for aries for the month of july and now here's your angels and spirit guides backing this loved one saying everything said here is true for you you deserve better in some area of your life than what's been happening somebody has been taking advantage somebody has been emotionally manipulating you trying to control you trying to control the narrative it, they may be trying to control multiple people because you have let's see one two um, three other people coming in um, with you so that's four all together so this person could be manipulating multiple, keeping you guys in a fight, in an argument. And this is your guides confirming all of that for you because you already feel it. There's nothing I can say in this reading that you don't already feel, all right? And so here with the celebration, we have the sacred ceremony bringing you into disillusionment, the light about the snake, Okay, the moon coming in, and we're having a full moon lunar eclipse on July 5th. So with that eclipse, there's something big going to be exposed for you. And then here, the upper world, the angels and the spirit guides and your past on loved ones, really guiding you, really protecting you, bringing you into the truth of all things that you have been asking Aries so open your heart to them you know um, do some grounding meditation with that sacral chakra to bring forth the healing but the truth you already know the truth and now it's about to be illuminated externally and it's going to be very freeing and liberating for you because it's like somebody's been trying to hold you down or hold you back but no more you've got a strong fierce spiritual team that says enough is enough all right, Aries. Oh, okay. 
So your advice is aura cleansing. When you feel heavy or run out of luck, go swim at the beach and you'll feel unstuck. So when you are feeling really confused, sad, down, unsure of which direction to go, connect to your spirit guides, connect to the angels, do um, a meditation of sorts. There are tons to choose from on YouTube to rebalance yourself and the answers will come to you much, much quicker. But um, your spirit guides really want you to become aware of this person, this situation, because you deserve much, much better. All right. So those are your messages for July. I am sending you lots of love and light, Aries. Take care.